Рок. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you back to the second contest at the Kumar Lampak Main Stadium for today. And we have Himachal Pradesh taking on Manipur. We'll quickly show you the starting lineups of both the sides. Here's the starting lineup for Himachal Pradesh. Avinav Guleria, Satyam Kumar, Amit Bhatt, Vishal Dogra, Nitin Thakur, Hemant Thakur, Amandeep Thakur, Nikhil Dogra, Dhiraz Datta, Shaya, Mohammad Tanveer. And... I'll try and show you the subs. Here are they. Abhishek Chaudhary, Sahil Rana, Manas Thakur, Saurav Kumar, Shail Sharma, Chetan Chaudhary, Ravi Khan, Pramod Kumar, Shantam Soni, Saurav Mankotia and Vivek. Wherein, for Manipur, we have Haukip, Naibam Denai Singh, Roman Singh, Karik, Kabirat Sharma, Kishan Singh, Pangmam Naoba, Yami Leongwa, Singham Shubha Singh, Ronald Singh, Maling Mamma. <coughs> And here are the subs now, just saying Boy Singh, Samson, Danjil, Punsiba Singh, Lesh Ram, Samshinchan Shirak, Vidya Chandra, Santayum Lembam, Siddharth Rana, Eb Virabu. We have two teams, both the sides, they were absolutely phenomenal in their first encounter. They battled till the very end, missed, but Manipur securing a clinical victory and so was the Marshal Pradesh in their outfit. On your screens, the team that will be attacking from the right to the left will be Manipur in red. Wherein on your screen, the team that will be attacking in white from the left to the right will be Himachal Pradesh. And we have both the sides all set for the game to kick start. And it is going to be Manipur who is going to get us underway at the Koman Lampak Stadium for the second contest of the day. We have Moirang Thang. Malin Nawa who will be taking uh, the kickoff just waiting for a while a minute maybe because the game is supposed to start at 2 p.m. and it is Manipur who gets us underway at the Kuman Lampak Main Stadium for the second picture of the day in the Manipur League or in the Manipur leg 
of the Hero 76 NFC Santosh Trophy. And it's Manipur who's straight into action, trying to use the right wing. Stitching together those crucial passes between themselves. Keeping it as simple as they can. Just interested in keeping the possession early in the game. Do not want to give it away to Himachal Pradesh. Who had an excellent encounter in the opener of the tournament for themselves against Lakshadeep. Manipur comes knocking from the right. The ball still remains in their favour. But a decent piece of goalkeeping there from the goalkeeper of Himachal Pradesh. Avin of Galeria who comfortably collects it. It's once again the captain of Manipur. Uh, Subhas Singh, who has already started doing his rounds, doing it from initially started on the left wing in the preceding contest, but then shuffled to the right and eventually reaped handsome dividends for the same. Himachal Pradesh bringing the numbers down, and now they are trying to attack from the left wing, trying to make good use of the same. The ball had probably a bit much of a weight than their players liking, and it would eventually roll back to the goalkeeper of Manipur. Once again, Manipur just having a bit of a slow start, not really willing to pour all their numbers forward at the moment. There's a long ball that's being stitched together towards the far right, but that first touch wasn't really a great one for Manipur and that has let them down. Now Himachal Pradesh with a quick turn can set themselves a foot on an attack. That's a brilliant ball towards the right and eventually it's a Himachal Pradesh player who receives it and now plays it back amongst themselves. Another long ball stitched. Himachal Pradesh probably managed to get the Manipur player off his trail, but at the cost of him losing his balance and taking a tumble, eventually gifting a throw in now in favor of Manipur. And Manipur happy to take them all day long and play those short and lateral passes amongst themselves. Invite uh, Himachal Pradesh to come out of their shell. They will not like Himachal Pradesh to sit back and defend because. Himachal Pradesh has previously showcased the fact that uh, they are a team who can actually take a lot of pressure and at the same time, when needed, they will be able to come out, come out and attack their counterparts in all their glory, to be honest. Manipur trying to use that right wing vehemently, a cross comes floating in, an opportunity! Oh my word, he just couldn't steer it towards the net. Trying to create a cross for the player waiting in the center channel or most likely went for it actually. Uh, but it wasn't really a decent effort. That could have been, that could have very well been the opening goal for Manipur. But nonetheless, they'll have uh, to stay content with just a chance right now. This was a lovely, lovely delivery. All he needed to do was simply place it towards that far post that could have tested the goalkeeper, but somehow his header was really not on target, forcing uh, the Himachal Pradesh defence to quickly gather numbers in front of the goal and eventually clear away any possible danger that could have been there knocking on their doors. And just to give you a quick recap of the preceding fixtures of both the sides, Himachal Pradesh secured a 2-1 victory against Lakshadeep in the preceding encounter. Wherein Lakshadeep took an early lead in the 39th minute through Mohammad Sharif and it was Abhishek Chaudhary who restored parity for Himachal Pradesh just from the cusp of half time with Dheeraj Dutta eventually administering the coup de gras in favor of Himachal Pradesh. Manipur, however, has right now returned to their attacking intent and it's the opening goal of the day. The cross comes floating in from the right Keeping a keen eye on observations, mm. eventually the that ball cool. has been steered into the bucket in it. A phenomenal finish and Manipur has got their noses ahead early in the fixture. Absolutely clinical in search, in pursuit of that goal. Look at this delivery. That was one of the best deliveries you'd ever ask for. Perfectly weighted and what a phenomenal header from Moirang Tem, Maling Nangba. And Manipur has got themselves ahead. And it's the captain once again, peering in the cross to Singh, one of the seasoned campaigners 
in the Indian footballing circuit, once again, letting the world know his reckoning class, the reason he is valued at such a high level. This is absolutely phenomenal from Manipur, and they have once again got themselves ahead in the game. If you look at the game that they previously played, they secured a 3-1 victory against Chandigarh. It was Naoba who gave them that early lead in the fourth minute and their captain Singham Subhas Singh found the back of the net on the 18 doubling the lead. Kunal Singh did manage to pull one back in favour of Chandigarh. However, it was a telling blow from Ronald Singh Saikom in the 95th minute that put the game beyond doubt for, or rather that put the game beyond recognition for their counterparts eventually handing over the bragging rights to Manipur. And as things stand, Manipur has secured that early lead. They are best with bowling outfits of India. We are all aware of that. They have gifted countless talented footballers from themselves. And we have known a lot of big names doing rounds in I-League and ISL clubs. And they are still doing a phenomenal job of delivering such guilt-edged football in the Hero 76 NFC Santosh Trophy. And ladies and gentlemen, just to give you a quick a wild reminder that the Manipur leg is right now brought to you. Or rather, we'll get back to that. But before that, we have another attack on the brewing or on the horizon coming all the way from Manipur. The cross comes floating in, not a decent one. At the end of the day, oh my word, that could have been catastrophic. That would have been a comedy of errors and probably another downfall for Himachal Pradesh. Had it not been Lady Luck's intervention coming exactly at the stroke of time. They almost ricocheted the ball off one of their own defenders into the back of the net. But fortunately the ball was not headed towards the goal. It missed the goal by Veskas. It's going to be Subhas Singh once again whipping in that corner. Hoping to extend their lead. The sends in the corner at the far post. However, there wasn't any money for players waiting for it. And eventually it will be safe as houses right now. For Himachal Pradesh, and Himachal Pradesh will need somebody who can lead the charge for themselves, who can keep their calm and who can actually come forward, drive forward with that hope, with that belief that even a lot can be done. Well, even in the preceding match, they were trailing, but they actually managed to come back from behind and secure the bragging rights for themselves. However, they are still to enforce themselves in the game. So far, it has been all money for. And Manipur has even got a goal for themselves to showcase the kind of brilliance, the kind of stupendous football aggression, the unsparing uh, hunger for goals that they have. They are just here to showcase that. And a brilliant side volley. Oh my word, that was close. It was dipping menacingly towards the goal. However, that would fly away by inches. That was a phenomenal effort. The cross once again coming from the right. And it was Yami Longwa on the ball who wanted to go for that side volley and eventually couldn't really place it to perfection because these are very, very difficult opportunities that you have to convert in. You have to be picture perfect with a lot of confidence that can eventually get you the goal. But at the moment as things stand, Manipur has a 1-0 lead for themselves where in Himachal Pradesh are desperately seeking to show something for themselves to get some momentum rolling in their sails at the moment. They are completely down and out. It's been a pretty uh, decent outing so far for Manipur in this contest. Himachal Pradesh still looking to find themselves uh, an outlet that could actually get them uh, rolling in the game. The first 10 minutes has seen them defending fiercely and yet they have conceded a goal, almost conceded a second as well had it not been, had it not been for the timely intervention of Lady Luck. Launches a ball downtown, but it's back. 
at the feet of Manipur and the player of Manipur has actually taken a knock the referee blowing his whistle uh, forcing the play to be stopped we'll try and confirm the player who actually took a knock uh, however I believe that he was just trying to defend the ball when someone rattled onto him it was Kishan Singh Uh, who was down, but it's good to see that he's back on his feet and the game has resumed. Manipur once again on the ball. Ronald Singh Saikom trying to take it forward, but will have to right now just sit back and hope for their other attackers to come with the ball forward. Now that's a poor delivery, but somehow Manipur did manage to go all the way forward and eventually a free kick has been given. That is poor defending. He was completely caught unaware there that the Manipur player has actually been speeding his way past, breathing on his neck. Eventually, in order to stall the move, he had to bring out an elbow. Uh, not a very pleasurable challenge, but at the end of the day, what does matter is that you keep your team at bay. So he went all out for it and he will also be taking a yellow card for the same. He took one for the team. Uh, and nonetheless, it was definitely not intentional, but all his intentions were he had to stop the ball at all costs. Uh, it's good to see that at least he's back and uh, he will be getting back. Hoping uh, to just roll back to action. It is the goal scorer, Moirantem Malengba. Uh, got Manipur that early lead and now we have Subhas Singh Singham with the free kick. All set to unload an effort towards the goal. This is a very dangerous position to have a free kick for. And the referee is asking uh, the defender to get back and probably join the wall. They're all set for this opportunity. Can they get something going their way? Can they extend their lead? Can they make it a double? Oh, that's a phenomenal free kick there, but the goalkeeper of Himachal Pradesh absolutely up to the task. Avinav Galeria padding it away, even though the danger is still not over. It still keeps on lingering around the box of Himachal Pradesh, but this time the ball will go away. That was a fine free kick. Uh, however, he was not really eyeing that net. All he wanted was that whatever rebounder probably try and keep it low said, so that that would trouble Avinav. And it eventually uh, did trouble him a bit, but he did manage to parry it away from the clutches of uh, Manipur and eventually allowing Machal Pradesh to breathe a bit and get back in the contest. Machal Pradesh desperate to get the ball at their, at their feet and they have eventually got it and now sends in a through ball. However, that won't really be uh, significant enough to create a difference between themselves. The ball stays with Manipur. Passes it to the right. Takes their time. Now plays it down to the central channel. Keeps it in their control. Just assessing a few options around. Just hoping that maybe uh, he can go ahead and spray the ball uniformly towards everyone present. They have the lead right now. They will like to wait for Himachal Pradesh to open up their defensive uh, doors a bit too further than they are currently doing right now. And the cross once again comes floating in. Manipur just hoping that maybe if they could have got a minus from there, maybe a diving header to get in that minus because there was a player waiting in front of the goal. Uh, just expecting that maybe he could turn it towards the goal. Uh, however, it doesn't seem like that it's anything of that sort is going to happen. The ball's back at the feet of Himachal Pradesh, takes a quick turn, passes it on to the far right. Uh, but a very emaciated pass and that is definitely not going to reach the feet of any of the Himachali attackers. Manipur back on the hunt. Both teams hailing from wonderful idyllic uh, scenic spectacles. We all know how Manipur is a beautiful scenic location. And definitely, it's also one of the hubs of football in India. Himachal Pradesh, also known for its beauty on the hills. And they are slowly growing. 
into the uh, game and even into this fixture. And it is expected that Himachal Pradesh will really try and sneak themselves an equalizer. This was almost on the brink of finding one out of nowhere. A delectable cross came knocking from the right. Almost found the feet of a Himachali attacker. But then he really couldn't just twist and turn and power it towards the goal. It was the captain actually who was chasing it. It was Hemant Thakur for Himachal Pradesh who almost came close to it scoring. But nonetheless, they'll have to wait because that chance is gone. And with every chance gone, the second starts growing longer, the minute starts growing longer. And the desire to find another opportunity, the desire to find that shot at redemption, simply keeps on accentuating itself, with it being a lot more tantalizing wherein players come close but they cannot find the back of the net. But it is expected the kind of attacking prowess that Himachal Pradesh have the kind of mindset that Himachal Pradesh comes to the tournament with or comes to any game with, it is expected that this is going to be one crackerjack of an affair between these two sides. It is not going to be a reticent battle of one team running right against the other. Manipur definitely has a well-oiled unit at their behest and they will definitely be trying to obliterate Himachal Pradesh. On the contrary, Himachal Pradesh is also a side that simply refuses to relinquish no matter the result no matter the scorecard they will keep on coming at you they will keep on clawing at the base and eventually they will find a way that has been the tradition in the first game of this tournament the question is can they find a way at least against a much more sturdy uh, Manipur because Manipur is definitely a lot more resolute and are deemed as one of the favorites uh, in the group but at the same time uh, they will also have to showcase their footballing skills. They'll have to showcase their resolve to remain in the hunt for the top two. Now, Himachal Pradesh has managed to snatch the ball away. After a bit of a struggle, does manage to keep the ball at his feet. Tries to stitch one forward pass, but intercepted there by Manipur. Takes a decent time. Keeps the ball at his feet and plays it back. And once again, it's too comfortable for Manipur right now. Another long ball coming in, but once again, weighted by Himachal Pradesh comfortably. It's right now at the feet of Manipur. Manipur trying to use that left wing, an extended foot there. The referee blowing the whistle and eventually giving away a goal kick there. Or uh, will confirm whether it's a goal mm. kick or a free kick. Uh, it most likely is a goal kick because oh, no. there was the run. Oh, it was a clean challenge actually. He went entirely for the ball, so there was no foul play involved. And as a result, it's going to be a goal kick now in favor of Manipur, uh, in favor of Himachal Pradesh. And the ball's back at the feet of Manipur. Quickly sends a pass. And now the Manipuri captain trying to force his way past that left wing. The referee says, get back up. That's not a penalty. It was as clean as it can get. And now once again, Manipur on the run. Or rather, Himachal Pradesh on the run. Oh, does a decent job of keeping the ball actually alive with his feet. Uh, that's some decent footwork. However, a bit of a wasteland there from the Himachali player. Was waiting on to the far right, not really expecting the ball to come his way. And by the time it did arrive, uh, he was already too much on the fringes. And by the time he could actually steer it in his own favor, he was already sailing out. The ball's back with Manipur right now. They are just having it too easy, despite. Uh, the occasional ingressions uh, or the occasional transgressions rather from Manipur into their half uh, somehow mm. it hasn't been that frequent it hasn't been that dominating Himachal Pradesh on the contrary uh, they are right now defending with everything that they have in their ranks because Manipur is relentless they are unsparing at the moment and they will not stop they will not stop unless they find that insurance goal. And at the same time, Himachal Pradesh, they have to hold on to whatever they have right now. 
They cannot let go because mm -hmm. the lead is a very slender lead and it can be plugged at any point in time. And that is exactly <laughs> what will be going on the minds of Himachal Pradesh. Now, Himachal Pradesh is definitely good at intercepting the ball, showing those anticipations where they are able to snatch the ball away from the feet of Manipur. However, they are not able to keep it for longer and that is what is costing them so dearly. The possession is being gifted around pretty cheaply allowing uh, Manipur to actually make it or uh, no, like give them that space with which they can attack Himachal Pradesh. Now, this is how the mindset should be. They should always be trying to snatch away the ball from the feet of uh, the Manipuri players because if they have to come back in the game, they'll have to force their way in because Manipur is a side that will not allow you an iota of space if you are not being persistent about it. You will have to figure your way out, as simple as that. Keeping things on the check right now. Once again, just keeping the ball at their feet. Manipur right now, not really trying to pour those numbers forward, not really being the assertive side that they are. They just want themselves uh, to keep that domination going. They want to keep the press on the higher side uh, so that Himachal Pradesh will always be have to uh, will always have to be on their toes. They'll have to keep themselves alert and they won't really have that breathing space that they want from which they can actually stitch forward those attacks and start asking the questions that Manipur are still expecting. Right now the Manipur defense, the Manipur midfield has been extremely solid and they have kind of stitched a crucial bridge between themselves that has seen the attack and the defense coming together in perfect proportions this was a chance for Manipur kind of a half chance if you may say the long ball there was a player the brilliant true ball created forward and kind of a dart of run there from Naoba Meite on that right wing and eventually turns the ball inside but there was no player on the chase allowing Himachal Pradesh to breathe a sigh of reprieve this was almost a crucial howler that was about to happen Himachal Pradesh in an attempt to create a pass between themselves, was on the brink of gifting away the possession. And had Manipur would have snatched the ball away from the feet of Himachal Pradesh, that would have been absolutely catastrophic. But nonetheless, things have been taken care of. Another long ball played, but that's straight at the feet of the Manipuri goalkeeper. Manipur has definitely been the more dominant sides of the two. Uh, they have managed to find the back of the net as well. And at the same time, they have kept on coming forward, looking around for opportunities. But somehow in the last 10 to 15 minutes, they have checked uh, their momentum a bit. Another cross comes floating in from the right. And a diving header being attempted. Unfortunate, however, he couldn't really latch on to it. Had he latched on to it, that should have definitely been goal number two. Because the goalkeeper absolutely had no chance. It was point blank range. All he needed was a bit of a connection onto the ball. However, it was not a well directed cross at the end of the day, it found out. Because the player was a bit too far away. He had to wait a bit more, maybe a second more. And he would have found the player almost latching onto it, doubling their lead. That was one of the best opportunities once again. Look at the cross. An absolute gem of a cross, if we may say. This is why Manipur is so dangerous. You have to stall them on the wings in the first place. If you allow them space in the wings, they probably have the fastest wingers in their ranks. And they are going to come forward knocking on the doors over and over again, wherein you'll simply have to just sit back and watch them lose it or uh, watch them play it out amongst themselves, tormenting you at all their majesty. This is another lovely flick 
allowing Manipur to try and create an opportunity from the right. Are we expecting a cross? Let's see. Well, at the moment, it seems that he's deposited the ball at the feet of a Himachal Pradesh defender. And Himachal Pradesh has managed to collect it comfortably and now send it forward in pursuit of, an, in pursuit of that all-important equaliser. But their joys are going to be ephemeral because the ball has been passed back to Manipur. And Manipur keeping it as comfortable as they can. Again, not really hurrying, controlling the tempo of the game, slowing it down slightly. It's another run from the right. An opportunity across comes in. The ball has somehow managed to be out of the line. The goalkeeper keeps in. The player of Manipur comes knocking on the doors, almost splattered himself onto the goalkeeper. And yet somehow he couldn't just steer the ball home. We wouldn't even call it point-blank range. It was almost an inch of connection that was required. A bit of a chaos there. What a phenomenal run from the ref. Now, it is kind of a fault of the jersey number two for Himachal Pradesh, Satyam Kumar, who should have cleared it out. He waited for the ball to actually bounce in front of the goalkeeper. And it was once again Manu Horyam Kobiraj stitching together that impeccable cross from the right, almost managing to get that insurance strike for Manipur. Himachal Pradesh has somehow been trailing in those uh, uh, passes that we usually expect. Like uh, their first touch hasn't been that great and that has let them down. This is a golden opportunity for Himachal Pradesh. However, he wanted to go for glory himself from quite an acute angle there by forcing the ball straight down the gully of the goalkeeper covering the citadel for Manipur and this was the chance well it took a deflection as well so that kind of took off the pace of the ball but he wasn't really comfortable with the shot he wasn't emphatic or assertive about his execution of the strike and uh, no matter the deflection but at the end of the day yeah, it wasn't really a great chance that was created by Himachal Pradesh the ball still stays with Manipur, but Himachal Pradesh has smashed it midway. Uh, trying to just create a quick flick and a one-two of a ball uh, so that the players can actually go on the run. However, he won't really be successful, at least in this occasion. Himachal Pradesh managing to get the ball back in their favor. Manipur stealing it away. <laughs> and now they are on a move of their own. Plays it on the ground. Not the intentions weren't really clear that whether it was supposed to be a cross or it was supposed to be a shot because no player was actually covering that far post and no one was even coming close to the same. So it's another chance, another opportunity uh, goes begging. And let me all remind you that the Hero 76 NFC Santosh Trophy is brought to you live by the official broadcasting partner of the Manipuri leg of the tournament. Sports KPI. Do not forget to check them out. Also, do like, share, and subscribe because we will be bringing around illustrious uh, leagues from the country, Pan India, in front of you. And it's an like you would be able to save a domestic Indian domestic football at its very best. Across once again comes floating in, but this time the Himachal Pradesh uh, players were absolutely on on their money, who were willing to put in a block and a staunch block there, eventually trading it away for a corner. In favor of Manipur, the hosts of this leg. They had a grand start. They had a grand opening to the tournament as they secured a 3-1 victory against Chandigarh in their opener. And here was the second goal scorer of that first game, their captain, Subhas Singh Singham, who is going to whip in that corner. Loads that corner in. That was a brilliant corner, actually. It was dipping menacingly towards its far post. But the goalkeeper of Himachal Pradesh, he's had a pretty busy day under the woodwork today. He's had to put in a lot of saves despite the defence being there. Uh, and there's another race there. Can Himachal Pradesh win it? Can they get the ball? Because there'll be a decent position to win the ball. But at the end of the day, Manipur defenders, Manipur rear guard has been one of the finest and one of the most airtight ones. So it's not easy for you to sneak something through at Konzimati. It's simple. It's very simple for them to keep the ball at their feet. They can stitch together important balls from both wings. Now, this is a brilliant ball, once again, coming all the way from the right. However, before, Manipur could have found or given some meaning or some import to the delivery by making it a menacing one. 
uh, it actually took a deflection of an extended fit of a Himachali prayer and went out for a corner. And this time, a change in personnel for the corner here. Oh no, it was Subhas Singh. So just a change in sight. He's now going to go ahead and use his left foot for that corner. Uh, he's, I won't exactly say that he's ambidextrous, but at the same time, uh, he, he can use both his feet. We have seen it previously. And that is why it is important. The kind of experience, the kind of talent, the kind of quality and gentry that he brings forth uh, to the table. It is absolutely impeccable. And it is what sets him apart from the other players uh, who usually are looking around on the doors or who are knocking around on the doors. Uh, this time, however, Manipur won't really have that uh, joy or have that uh, luxury of keeping the ball at their feet and try and twist against the opposition because the offside flag was up imparting that they'll have to relinquish the possession in order for a free kick to be taken by Himachal Pradesh. <clears throat> it's 30 minutes on the clock and it has been an entertaining for half an hour football with Manipur eventually dictating the shots and they're still dictating it actually uh, because Himachal Pradesh is mainly busy in defense but it's just that they have seemed a lot more confident in defending in the second half of the game rather or rather in this in the in the last 15 minutes we can see the crowd being there slowly steaming in it's a busy monday afternoon and yet they have somehow found out the time to arrive to the stadium just hoping to cheer their home team hoping to witness some delectable football some guilt-edged footballing quality oh this can be another howler however the flag is already up so that would not have counted uh, the Himachal Pradesh player is down, but nonetheless, he actually couldn't uh, place it towards the back of the net. Some phenomenal goalkeeping, uh, the goalkeeper of Himachal Pradesh coming out of his line, Avinav Galeria, and eventually denying the opportunity uh, to Manipur to try and sneak themselves a second. Uh, the crowds are slowly steaming in. We wouldn't call it uh, chocker block, but we can definitely say that the attendance on a Monday afternoon, on a busy Monday afternoon, is definitely on the higher side. And the crowd would be absolutely loving the kind of football that is being stitched together right now. Uh, because the numbers will keep on increasing with every passing minute of the game. Because it's almost about, it's towards a, it's, I won't say that it's a busy Monday afternoon, we are headed towards the evening. Because the second half will be after three, so you can call it kind of an evening. And then uh, as uh, the time passes by, we can expect the crowd the audience to increase the chance for the hosts yeah to try and rattle the net from range he even unloads a thunderbolt but that was nowhere close to the goal it sailed over eventually once again allowing a moment of freedom to Himachal Pradesh and that was a fine strike uh, he just needed to keep it slightly down and that could have been an avalanche of catastrophe further raining down upon a stuttering Himachal Pradesh and this was the chance. Uh, this is the chance. A few moments back, we're actually back in the game. Uh, oh, it's a it's a confusion there. Uh, so this was another golden opportunity for Manipur to try and sneak out the second again. You're knocking on the doors louder than ever. The question is, will the doors give away? This was the crucial opportunity. Look at that run from the right. An absolutely phenomenal run. Sends in a minus. Just hoping that somebody can connect to it. But at the end of the day, he couldn't really. It was Kishan Singh Thongjam who came in with the cross. But the cross mm -hmm. wasn't met by any Manipuri player in front of the goal. And right now we can see a Himachal Pradesh Go. player who actually put himself on the line for the block uh, is receiving some treatment at the moment. It is Satyam Kumar, the man who put in a crucial block. And this block will count a lot for them. Because once again, going by the context of the picture, the lead that Manipur has is a very slender lead. They'll have to be careful about it. <laughs> they have been profligate. They have wasted a lot of opportunities. And this cannot simply keep on happening. They'll have to score if they want to win this game. Because you never know when Himachal Pradesh will be pricing out something for themselves, something in their favor, maybe a strike. And once again, the ball rolling out of play. Uh, 
The world's back for 24 now. It's too easy for them right now. Again, Himachal Pradesh. You can see the difference between a Himachal Pradesh player and the Manipur defense. Another long ball. Manipur desperate to keep the ball in play. Sends in a cross from the right. But the linesman has already pointed at the fact that before he could send that cross in, uh, the ball actually crossed the line and it was going to be a goal kick in favor of Himachal Pradesh. Thirty-five minutes of football almost happened, and, and it has so far been another fine display of uh, their attacking mindset. Uh, Manipur, the hosts of this leg, uh, they have been absolutely great and phenomenal in their pursuits, and they keep on coming forward over and over again, just trying to probe Himachal Pradesh, just asking all the right questions, making all the right noises, bouncing up the ideas of each other bouncing of the attacking mindset of each other and eventually slowly cornering Himachal Pradesh into an integument of defense and right now Himachal Pradesh all they have done so far in this half except for that one or two opportunities where they didn't really seem that categorical uh, is defend defend and defend they have defend fiercely and they've done a good job in defending but nonetheless Manipur did manage to get that all-important lead in their favor and until Himachal Pradesh comes up with a paradigm shift in their mindset in the breather, during the breather, they'll have some serious deliberations going on in the camp. But we'll get back to that. Right now, Manipur is on the surge again. This is a brilliant opportunity. Can they utilize it? The first one was not used, but the second time, the goal was scored by Manipur. It initially felt that it should have been pegged in the very first opportunity, but he somehow missed his turn. Mm. Look at the cross, look at the speed. There's the cross. This is how he couldn't really utilize it. But eventually, there was another player following his way through and finding the back of the net with an absolute thunder of a strike. It is Yami Longba of Manipur who gets the second for the men in red and for the hosts. And now Himachal Pradesh would be staring at a mountain that they will fancy climbing. But in order for them to climb, they will not just have to face Manipur, but a flurry of adversaries coming their way. It will be a challenge that will be sent towards them. It will be a gauntlet that has been thrown down at their feet. And right now, in order to brave them in the first place, they will have to find themselves an opener. Almost on the brink of heading it towards that goal. But nonetheless, he was not in a decent position to try and control it. It was a bit too high for him. But this was the goal. Look at the run there. Speeding his way past the marker. Probably that ball should have been finished right then and there. But then somehow he just missed the ball on the turn. But lucky for him. But there was a player following suit. And eventually it was Yami Longba spearing it into the back of the net. Making it 2-0 in favour of Manipur. Manipur comes knocking on the door again. Another cross comes in. The danger is still not gone. The goalkeeper was beaten almost, but this time the ball had actually gone out of play before Subhas Singh Sim Singham could actually reach that ball. And this is Manipur will be a happy side. They will love to continue the kind of attack that they have stitched forward and the intensity that they want to come forward to this game with. They have been absolutely relentless against Himachal Pradesh. As the final seven minutes of the regulation time of the first half will be knocking on the doors for us. We may expect further aggression from Manipur. They have tasted blood not once but twice. They will now like to kill this game. They will now like to deracinate. Himachal Pradesh completely accentuating their goal difference. This was their fifth goal of the tournament. They've conceded one so far, so that makes it a goal difference of plus four. Wherein the victory for Punjab and the Yopana, they also have a goal difference of four goals in their favour. 
considering that they've secured a 3-0 victory today morning and a one goal victory in the preceding encounter. Manipur keeps on coming back in numbers and Himachal Pradesh, and Himachal Pradesh keeps on defying them in numbers as well. The linesman once again raising his flag there. Uh, just signaling uh, just signaling the fact that it was offside so they'll have to restart with a free kick and Manipur once again trying to intervene uh, the first attempt wasn't a great one to intervene but the second time it was intervened successfully they keep on coming forward they keep on creating the opportunity across comes in and goal number three for Manipur and Himachal Pradesh is coming apart at the seams mm. A brilliant team goal, if we may say it. A brilliant cross, an electric one from the left. Look at this one-two. There comes the cross from the goal scorer. And eventually it was Kesan Singh Thongjam to find the back of the net for the third time. And Manipur is wreaking havoc at the Kuman Lampak main stadium. This was one of the best team goals you'd ever come across. Yami Longwa coming forward with a wonderful flick. That made it a 1-2. And then it was Ronald Singh Saikom who came in with the cross. And eventually it was Kisan Singh Thomjam poking it into the back of the net to make it 3-0. Himachal Pradesh starting the game with another long ball in the opposition half. But that wasn't any one of a decent move there. Now that ball has rolled out of play for a goal kick now in favour of Manipur. This game is almost getting beyond the control of Himachal Pradesh. They'll need to put a stopper in the descent at the moment. Because if they are unable to do so, they will be destroyed. Because Manipur has got the firepower. They have the required pyrotechnics in their arsenal as they will slowly be unloading them with every passing minute. Himachal Pradesh will need somebody to take a stand, somebody to take point on their defensive duty. Somehow their defense is coming apart, coming unglued with every single encroachment of Manipur. And their attack haven't got anything significant to showcase for themselves in the ongoing fixture. Three wonderful goals from Manipur and they are very much in the driver's seat. They come knocking on the doors again. They'll need some help for sure. Himachal Pradesh unable to control the ball and so does Manipur. And eventually it's going to be a throw in now in favour of Manipur here. Almost 43 minutes in the clock. Manipur dictating the shots at mm, the Koman Lampak Main Stadium in the first half. Securing a 3-0 lead. Sitting together an extremely aggressive brand of football. That has left Himachal Pradesh punch drunk and absolutely running helter-skelter for answers. Things are definitely not hunky-dory for the men in white here. They have no answers to all the questions that Manipur is asking. They are stunned right now at the sheer tenacity, at the sheer intensity of the attacks that Manipur has managed to stage. And Manipur comes knocking on the door again, once again from the right, but this time... Before he could control the ball that was already rolling out and actually the flag went up as well uh, thereby signalling uh, an offside. And Manipur has once again intercepted the ball at a very critical juncture. Uh, but Himachal Pradesh quickly putting their foot down and defending it away to safety. And right now the ball's back at the feet of Manipur. Final few seconds of the regulation time of first half coming up. Himachal Pradesh stitches another, uh, rather Manipur stitches another ball forward. But this time a bit too rather less. Going out straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. Once again taking a fall, taking a tumble there. Keeping those lateral passes right now. Sends a ball towards the far right. Himachal Pradesh putting in a desperate header to keep it away from the player. But the ball still has been kept alive by Manipur. They have been extremely active. 
they have been extremely on they have been on the lookouts for goals another chance can they unload across they do take a shot actually but that sailed over it was not easy to control the shot because the ball was going slightly away two minutes have been added on uh, to the regulation time of the first half considering the stoppages in play and considering the kind of action that we have had the celebrations and everything uh, so two minutes 120 seconds of football still coming forward for you uh, and right now again uh, but keeping things in mind keeping the uh, points table in mind for group six Manipur are right now leading given the num higher number of goals that they have scored they've got they've scored five goals wherein uh, Punjab has scored four so far well, actually they've scored six so yes they also have a leading goal difference if the if the game continues with this tempo if the game finishes with the score line uh, well the game may have a quick change in the score line again because Manipur comes knocking on the doors an inch an inch all it took the ball to get away from the player was an inch of distance he was almost there prowling upon the delivery unfortunate however that he couldn't really reach it on time and it just uh, got out of his extent, got out of his ambit, thereby allowing Himachal Pradesh to just have a sigh of a reprieve for themselves. And they haven't really had that much in the second half or in the first half. They have been pegged back vehemently by Manipur. They have been confined to their own half, and even whenever they have came forward attacking, Manipur has comfortably staved them away. They have repelled them without any obstacles whatsoever. It has been an easy ride so far for the host Manipur. And Himachal Pradesh, despite all their huff and puff uh, in the midfield, they have failed to really turn the game in their favour. This is another run for Manipur. Can they get themselves that all-important fourth? Well, it seems that the goalkeeper this time was already on the prowl, already on the lookout. Avin Abgaleria coming out of his line and eventually collecting the ball. And that should be the end of the first half as the referee blows the final whistle for the opening 45 minutes of the fixture Manipur has a three goal cushion to themselves and they like to keep on upholding it we'll try and showcase you the confirmation of the first half score line that's 3-0 at the moment and also the stats that have so far defined the fixture That's the confirmation. We have Malingam, we have Malingamba scoring that opening goal. Oh, well, we'll get back to that. Here's a quick highlight of the goals that were scored, and this was a, this was the third goal actually, or rather this was the second goal. Picture perfect finish, poked into the back of the net, and this was the run. Look at this run, absolutely. Phenomenal there. Well, the ball kind of, it was not easy to take it on the turn because when the ball's on the on the move, it's, it's, it's not easy to control its motion. It's not easy to control the momentum. That's the official confirmation of the first half score line. It's 3 0 in favor of Himachal Pradesh at the moment. It's Maling, and here are the stats Himachal Pradesh 32% ball possession, 68% ball possession for Manipur. One shot from Himachal Pradesh, nine from Manipur. None on target for Himachal Pradesh, five on target for Manipur. Three corners for Manipur, three fouls from Himachal Pradesh, one from Manipur. One yellow card for Himachal Pradesh. Other than that, no cards have yet come out at the moment. And that should be it from the first half. And these stats were powered to you by the official broadcasting partner of the Manipur leg of Hero 76 National Football Championship Santosh Trophy Sports KPI. Do not go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We'll return shortly with the second half of the contest. Stay till then, stay tuned, stay posted.
substitute on Waldo no. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for the second half of the contest between Manipur and Mat. Uh, so between Manipur and Himachal Pradesh, two teams uh, right now uh, playing the game on their own terms and notes. Manipur definitely the firm favourites to walk away with the bragging rights, especially after the 3-0 lead that they have taken. Where in Himachal Pradesh has still to open their account in the game. They'll most likely have a substitution coming on. Abhishek Chaudhary lining up. He's a defender. Actually, a twin substitution that is about to happen. Abhishek Chaudhary and Sahil Rana. Sahil is a midfielder, whereas Abhishek Chaudhary is a defender. And this time it is Himachal Pradesh who will be attacking on your screen from the right to the left in white. Who gets us underway? Well, on your screen from the left to the right, the team that will be bringing us forward are the hosts and the men in red. Manipur. Manipur has a three goal cushion right now and they are also, also dictating the narrative of the contest with an iron fist. Himachal Pradesh, on the contrary, have, haven't been that great, haven't been that significant uh, to crack open the doors that Manipur has balled up tight against their faces. There's a goal kick now in favour of Himachal Pradesh. Takes their time. It was the Manipuri captain who was in pursuit to uh, Subhas Singh Singham. And Manipur has reclaimed the possession of the ball but you know, has been met with some friction there. That forced him to play the ball back to his own half. And take some time off and, you know, like, ask for the Himachal Pradesh players to come forward. That's a lovely little one-two there. Uh, the question is whether they can capitalize on the same, but it doesn't seem like they will be. But somehow Manipur has got the ball back in their favour, almost on the brink if getting that fourth, but just trying to utilise that space, trying to be cheeky, went for that shot. This was Subhas Singh Singham. A fine opportunity, probably could have passed the player onto the left, 
but somehow it seemed that he wanted to go for glory himself and the cheeky lift that he wanted for himself, uh, the elevation wasn't there and eventually ended up gifting it into the safe arms of the goalkeeper. Himachal Pradesh once again given another lifeline there. Uh, things stand deadlocked at 3-0 at the moment. And kind of a consistent uh, tussle between the players eventually results in the ball rolling out of play. Himachal Pradesh sends in a brilliant cross from the left that could have been uh, smelling of danger but uh, right now it seems like that whatever danger was there has passed balls back at the feet of Himachal Pradesh after a desperate attempt from Manipur to try and cross it forward Not a decent pass amongst at all. The game is a little bit rusty there in the first half, uh, in the second half. Uh, we've just been three minutes into the second half. Both the teams uh, still slow to get off the block. And Himachal Pradesh now on the prowl from the left wing again. But somehow, if you see, this is the motive that has been. Uh, they've actually used the wings. Uh, in the second half, they've already exploded twice. But until you have help in the central channel, until you have the personnel that can go ahead and make things happen, there's no point doing that because eventually all these crosses and everything, they won't count. Manipur just trying to send in another cross this time. But the cross was sent, but it was actually intercepted there by Himachal Pradesh and intercepted pretty comfortably at the end of it. Here's a short little pass. Manipur once again really not hurrying or trying to show that rush because they do not have anything to rush about. They have a three goal cushion which is more than enough to give them a three points. They give them all the three points in the game, give them a victory and also catapult them to the front of the pack in group six of the ongoing Hero 76th uh, NFC Santos Trophy. So. Mm, they they just do not need to panic at all. It, on the contrary, Himachal Pradesh will have to show a lot more urgency. They'll have to be a lot more active. They'll have to start pressing uh, Manipur on the higher side. And somehow they have actually failed to do that. And a cross comes floating in from the right, but that won't really be doing them any good at all. And now a long ball comes in, they keep the ball at their feet. And this time it doesn't seem like the Manipur players will be in contention for the ball. The second half has somehow been <clears throat> slightly uh, off colour from both sides. Manipur just being that off-key side or, or rather uh, slightly uh, trying to slow down the tempo, playing it on their own terms. <clears throat> Himachal Pradesh simply continues to chase shadows with no real intent at the moment. All these short and lateral passes between Manipur are just stealing away crucial seconds from the game. And out of nowhere, they start bursting forward. One of them like this, another crucial run from the right. That wing, those wings have been absolutely dangerous. A chance here for Manipur to try and steer it into the back of the net. 
but not a decently taken effort. He should have actually tried and injected much more power behind the shot that could have changed or that could have created significant difference. This is another electric run from the right. Look at the cross that comes in. The first one goes for a dummy. However, the second one should have actually finished it, should have powered it. He couldn't really put in that power. And that is what cost him another opportunity. Once again, the ball's back in their own half. You can look at the gap right now, considering the urgency that should be there in uh, Himachal Pradesh's ranks. Somehow they're just happy to right now sit back and defend. And this time, before they could finish off with the run, the flag had already went up. And Himachal Pradesh forcing another change here. And that is Shantam Soni came in in place of Amandeep Thakur. Another long ball for Himachal Pradesh. A race down that right wing. The player does manage to keep the ball in play. But not for long. It was shortly gone out of bounds. As a goal kick knocks on the horizon for Himachal Pradesh. 53 minutes on the clock and right now Manipur has a comfortable lead going in their way. That's the confirmation of the change. Shantam Soni coming in place of Amandip Thakur for Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh will have to get themselves shuffling in a faster manner. They'll have to start pressing slightly on the higher side. They'll have to show that urgency. They may even switch to a high line of defense. But right now, just sitting back and defending won't do the job for them. Because the lead is no longer slender. It's momentous to be honest. They have a three goal cushion rolling their way. And it may simply keep on accentuating further. Another long ball sent down that far left wing. A cross comes in. And oh, that's a brilliant save. That's deliberately thunder a save from the goalkeeper. Or else the ball was once again rolling into the back of the net. A sturdy deflection along the way. Almost sent the goalkeeper on the wrong direction. Had it not been for the goalkeeper, Avinav Guleria, Manipur would have very well taken that fourth goal for themselves. It's the captain who went for that shot. The ball took off the deflection. And look at how quickly he recovers himself and goes back and eventually claws the ball out of the line. That is some excellent goalkeeping from this young man. Well done. However, he has been beaten thrice mm. as well, but in both, in, in all the three occasions, mm. there was nothing much that he could have actually done for himself. The media is right now out, but nonetheless, this would be definitely one of the saves of the match. He's been a busy man. He's been he's tried hard to keep things at bay. He's, he's kept his team in contention for a certain point in time until. Those two quick goals happened that completely left Himachal Pradesh out of recognition in the contest. Right. <laughs> and this was the chance there. What a terrific strike there. Took a deflection of one of their own players. And that is what sent Avinov on the wrong side in the first dive. But in the second dive, he was absolutely brilliant. And eventually managed to claw the ball out off the line for a staggering second time. Keeping his team afloat in the game. But if his team needs to be afloat, they'll have to score goals. It's as simple as that. The equation is absolutely simple there. There's no change in that. If Himachal Pradesh has to stay afloat, they'll have to score at least one goal in the forthcoming four to five minutes so that at least they can stay in the hunt. They can start believing that even they can score against this resolute Manipur. It's definitely not going to be easy. It's going to be challenging of all sorts. And they'll have to come up with an answer. Oh, this can be a dangerous, dangerous move. Just as we were saying there. Things have happened in the camp of Himachal Pradesh. A howler from Manipur, a rare one. But nonetheless, 
that has been punished by Himachal Pradesh. They kept on knocking on the doors and look at this chance. Fails to turn and fails to realize that there was a player breathing onto his neck. And eventually, it was Kisan Singh, a goal scorer, who ends up doing the howler, who ends up conceding the possession for Manipur. And eventually, Himachal Pradesh successfully manages to get themselves back, not exactly back, but at least reduce the areas now to a two goal cushion. Do we have a twist unfurling ahead of us, or do we have a twist in the making? Some more drama. Well, definitely, it wasn't really a, a chance from open play, it was a howler uh, from Kisan Singh Tanjom. But at the same time, Himachal Pradesh ensured that they had their players forward to actually pounce upon that opportunity and eventually turn it home in clinical manner. And Manipur once again on the run. They're desperate to establish that three goal cushion again. Sends in a delectable cross from the right, but that will definitely not be creating any doubts in the mind. And here's a confirmation of the goal. It is Saurav Kumar who managed to find the back of the net in favor of Himachal Pradesh. Manipur, however, undeterred by the goal, comes forward again, sends in a teasing cross from the right, but it evades all the players' headers and eventually rolls out a play for a throw and in favor of Manipur, the hosts of this leg of the Group 6 fixtures of the ongoing Hero 76th NFC Santos Trophy. The ball's back with Manipur right now. It's a bit of a shimmy down that left wing. Tries to send in a cross, but eventually ends up hammering it at a diving player. keep on coming forward at it but it doesn't seem like that they will be getting that opportunity however a long ball being sent and straight into the arms of the goalkeeper nobody to actually keep on or to actually come forward and snipe those chances exploit them to the fullest Himachal Pradesh on the run again but Manipur has snatched it trying desperately to keep it under control and does it successfully sends a pass towards the center sends a forward pass the opportunity for them takes the shot and finds the back of the net Manipur has restored their three goal cushion mm. and it didn't take them long to find the net for the fourth time in the game. It was an absolute, absolute delight to see them stitch together this chance and eventually finish it in thunderous fashion there. It was once again Moirangtem Malingwa the man who scored the opener for Manipur on the day has also found his brace at Manipur's fort. Just on the cusp of the R mark when it felt as if that Himachal Pradesh are trying to stitch together a comeback in the game. Manipur has managed to hit back again announcing their intentions absolutely clear that they are not just going to sit back and defend because they have conceded a goal. They've been absolutely brilliant in this fixture. Thorough domination of Himachal Pradesh. And it keeps on continuing. Himachal Pradesh does a decent job of snatching the ball away from the jaws of Manipur. However, they have to be a lot more precise with their passes. Their passes are extremely haywire. They're all over the place. They're spraying them pretty widely without even realizing that their players aren't at the receiving end. They're mainly spraying the passes to the feet of the Manipuri players. And, and that is why Manipur ha is having it so easy to actually dart forward, uh, enjoy a lion's share of the possession and eventually create those chances. And here's Manipur again. Coming from the right this time, or rather from the left. The ball still stays with Manipur. A bit of a tussle there. 
and eventually Marshall Pradesh manages to get the ball or lay claim to the ball. But now they've gifted it back to Manipur. Manipur darting forward. It simply bounces off one of the Himachal Pradesh players and falls back at the feet of Manipur again. Quickly sitting forward those passes now. Making his way forward, does a decent job of staying on his foot actually and the ball still remains alive at the feet of Manipur however a very disgruntled pass there and now Himachal Pradesh has a chance to break and they score a second here well if they can it's going to be game on to be honest but it doesn't seem like they will have much of a say in the chance but Himachal Pradesh once again creating the small pockets of space wanted to take a shot but that angle was too acute for him to actually execute an impactful effort on goal and the ball has been chested down there by a Himachal Pradesh defender and it's going to be a throw in now in favor of Manipur or rather of Himachal Pradesh to be honest uh, yes and a quick throw taken but instantly the Manipur players crowding around the Himachal Pradesh players. They are not giving him that space to breathe. They are not giving him the, them the space to twist and turn that can create the opportunity. And, and add to that this woeful passing. Not even knowing where their players are. Just simply passing for the sake of it. Making things a lot more difficult for themselves. Himachal Pradesh will have to grow on passes. But Manipur right now is again on the ball they just need to beat the goalkeeper they have can they twist and turn that in well at the moment they won't oh this could have been very well the fifth goal of the day but Subhas Singh Singham did manage to beat the goalkeeper but that went slightly far away from the goal than he would have wanted and eventually by the time he could actually minus the ball in for the player who was marauding down the central channel the defenders of Himachal Pradesh already alive, already arrived. It's going to be a throw in now in favor of Manipur. They have been equally active in both the halves they have been equally dominant in both the halves so far uh, and they've also managed to find ample number of goals to showcase for their aggression to show for their relegates nicely done by Manipur desperate to keep the ball at their feet it's back to the captain Subhas Singh Singham tries to prance his way past to the three defenders and eventually manages to do that as well but the flag's mm -hmm. gone up and it's a free kick now It was quickly taken uh, by Himachal Pradesh, playing it amongst themselves. Another long ball being attempted. Well, uh, it, it was actually received by the header of a Himachal Pradesh player, but the header was so emasculated, and even in the process, he ended up fouling one of the Manipuri players. So, here's just a live update of the match that is ongoing in another ground here, and that is between Jharkhand and Chandigarh. Uh, it's match six of, the, uh, of this group. And as things stand, both the teams are still locked at an impasse with 0 0. However, this game has had plenty of goals. Five goals have been scored, with Manipur scoring four of them, and one of them coming from the feet of Himachal Pradesh. So, this has been quite an encounter there. A player is down at the moment. Uh, of Himachal Pradesh. It's good to see that he's back on his feet as well. Mm 
There's a corner for Himachal Pradesh, the first one of the day for them actually. Sends in a cross, tries a header, but straight uh, repelled away by the Manipuri defense. Another rebound coming in, not really getting the direction proper. ball uh, being played down right now once again Himachal Pradesh just clearing away the lines and the ball is now back at the feet of Manipur however there's a free kick that has been awarded another confirmation of substitution there Chetan Chaudhary coming in in place of Amit Bhatt Himachal Pradesh once again has an opportunity to actually send the ball uh, forward. However, not really in place. Kind of a, uh, a kind of a very hurriedly taken free kick, and thereby uh, Manipur once again getting the ball. It's pretty scrambling down in the midfield, not really allowing. The opposition to settle down. Another long ball being played forward by Machal Pradesh. They're still chasing those shadows, if I may say. Oh, that is some fancy footwork there. From the goalkeeper of Manipur, keeping the ball away uh, from Himachal Pradesh. Substitute Ramdan of Manipur. Playing those lateral passes in the midfield, using the wings as well. Yeah. Manipur uh -huh. once again taking some time for themselves, just going down the tempo slightly, allowing their players to breathe. That's a lovely ball and a chance! But once again, denied by the goalkeeper. A phenomenal opportunity should have been turned into the back of the net. But a full stage dive from Avinav Galeria, eventually denying them the opportunity, a crack at goal. Almost there, almost. There's another substitution happening. And this time, it's for Manipur. They can see Punsiba Singh coming to the middle. Oh, there was a bit of a... Nasty uh, entanglement there. And Punsipa Singh is going to come on to the field there. We'll quickly confirm that who is the player he's going to replace. He's going to replace Dunjil there. So, and a short corner being taken by Manipur. They're looking for some space to create those crosses. Oh, takes a shot! But somehow it smashed onto the side netting. Takes a shot on the turn and hammers it towards the net. However, the drive slightly missing the line. That was a brilliant, brilliant effort. Look at this chance. Oh, look at the turn. The turn was everything you could have asked for. But somehow the ball did not go into the back of the net. It was not easy to turn it from that angle.
back with Manipur again and they can actually stitch forward they can come forward in looking around for these opportunities Now Manipur on the prowl, this time from the left wing, sends it to the player who is just trying to stitch together a ball forward from the left. Sends it down to the central channel and now back to the right. Another long ball. Can Manipur latch on to it? It seems like they won't be. And eventually it's going to be a goal kick there in favour. Rather a free kick actually in favor of uh, Himachal Pradesh. A bit of a shoulder push that was being referred to. We are now headed towards the final 17 minutes of the fixture. Or rather of the final 17 minutes of the regulation time. And just a confirmation here uh, from the other game. Jharkhand has managed to secure a 1-0 lead against Chandigarh. And it was Birsha Tudu who got themselves ahead. However, coming back to this game, Manipur, another opportunity and another goal. Goal number five there. A scintillating cross coming all the way from the feet of their skipper. And an absolutely gem of a finish there. Putting the game to bed once and for all. And Himachal Pradesh is right now staring at a void that has been completely unfathomed by them. What a brilliant cross. An absolutely sizzling finish from Moirangtham. Malingamba, who's managed to net his hat trick. Number, it's number 14 for Manipur, and they are well ahead in the game. They made it 5 1 right now in their favor. And somehow Himachal Pradesh has completely switched off. For them now, it's a battle of survival. For them now, it's keeping the scorecard as respectable as they can. That's a Marshall Pradesh player who's down. No, well, apologies for the same. I believe the goal was scored by Ronald Singh Saikom. Uh, so, yes, it was not a hat-trick. It was Ronald Singh Saikom with his second goal of the tournament. Eventually making it 5-1 now in favour of Manipur. Media rushing over to the player at the far end. Signal in lost day. Communication, sir. Uh, just, uh, ensuring the fact that he's all right, the injury is oh. very minimal. I mean, that is what the point is. Now, this was the goal there. The true ball in the first place was of such beauty, and then the finish a picture perfect volley into the bottom right corner of the net, making it 5 1 in favor of Manipur. It's a free kick now in favor of Himachal Pradesh. Uh, they like to launch it into the opposition box. They do as well. And a header comes in. Quite a glancing one actually. But straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. And now the ball's fallen back for Manipur. You can actually push it forward from there. Subhas Singh Singham sends in a lovely ball from the left. Tries to take a direct shot at goal. However, the goalkeeper once again standing his ground and denying it. Uh, as he padded it away at the expense of a corner. Another set piece in favour of Manipur. Just highlighting the kind of brilliance, the kind of attacking intent that they've stitched over the game. And with every passing second, they have looked a lot more dangerous. They have looked a lot more convincing. And they have looked a lot more ravenous for goals. Another chance. Another shot comes in, but this time there's way too much power behind the ball. The ball's back now with Himachal Pradesh. It's a turn on the right, however, <clears throat> that won't really be doing them any good at the moment. Yeah. 
takes a nice little shimmy down the cliff. Oh, plays the ball forward, an opportunity for Manipur to get that number mm. six. But a crucial intervention, crucial defensive intervention from Himachal Pradesh denies them that opportunity. And now they'll have to come forward from a corner. And that was a timely intervention there, snatching the ball away. It was actually the goalkeeper who first made it difficult by coming out of his line. Bringing the angle down and then whatever required space they had was taken care of by the defender. There was kind of a wild corner that sailed away from the player. And this time, once again, they were not able to utilize that. They tried to stitch together a pass. But it wasn't decent enough. Another long ball comes floating in, but this time, before Himachal Pradesh could have laid claim to that, the goalkeeper charging out of his line, eventually collecting it comfortably at the end of the day. And now sends another lovely ball forward, just trying to keep the ball alive. Manipur, twist and turn, doing some nifty footwork there, and eventually. Uh, they will be conceding possession as it's a goal kick now in favour of Himachal Pradesh. We are headed towards the final 10 minutes of regulation time at the Koman Lampak Main Stadium. Another chance here for Manipur. Again, keeps on twisting and turning around. Just trying to keep the oppositions at bay. Or their opposition at bay rather. Oh, that's a lovely ball. Why did he step in there? Had he not stepped in there, that should have been a true ball actually. But somehow given the fact that he stepped in there, I mean, whatever chance that could have happened, the true ball was actually intercepted by one of his own men. And now the referee quickly blowing the whistle, giving a free kick there to Himachal Pradesh. Cool. <laughs> they'll take their time now they're in no hurry at the moment because they know that they cannot recover the mass they like just like to make the scorecard as respectable as they can and if they have to recover from here that will be a turnaround of the century they have two players lining up for that free kick goes for the free kick oh it was menacingly dipping in towards the goal but nonetheless, it would miss the net by Whiskers as it goes sailing over. And now it's a goal kick in favour. Off Manipur. This was the free kick once again. It actually took a dip there and had a dip slightly early. Well, things could have happened. And now a Manipuri player is down in the centre circle. Uh, Manipur just wanted to start it clearly there and the referee says let's stop the game the players down We have to give him some medical attention And there are a couple of changes happening for Manipur There will be a goalkeeper change That is Siddharth Rana will be coming on for Manipur and at the same time we have Boy Singh will also be making way to the center. This has been an extremely assertive, uh, assertive display from Manipur, the host of the ongoing six, uh, group six fixtures there.
The ball's back at the feet of Manipur again. He quickly stitches it forward. Trying to get some close shooting space ahead of him, however. He ends up bundling it straight at the feet of the Manipuri play, uh, the feet of Himachal Pradesh players. Manipur once again resilient or, in, or persistent with the ball at their feet. Not decent enough, sends another long ball. Keeps on battling in the center. And now both the players have gone down there. Just the referee quickly blowing his whistle to stop the uh, play there. It was a bit of it was in the phase of the play. We're just trying to come together and just trying to stitch forward. A pass that would have helped them both. And here's a free kick now in favor of Manipur. Another opportunity for them to try and sneak in that sixth that they are looking forward to. Takes the time. Passes it forward. An opportunity. But once again, ramming it straight into the arms of the advancing goalkeeper. Another quick live update from the other match. Jharkhand still holding on to their slender lead at the moment over Chandigarh with Birsha Studu scoring a 67th minute strike. Himachal Pradesh launching the ball forward with the hope of one of their players just going for it. But it doesn't seem like that they are going to receive or probably reach the ball in time. Here's a throw in again in favor of Himachal Pradesh. It felt as if there was a last moment touch coming in from Manipur. Sends another cross from the front, a diving header and a second goal for Himachal Pradesh. Well, as I mentioned, that it is going to be now a contest of survival. It is now going to be a contest of making the scorecard look a bit more respectable. And this was a phenomenal ball coming in from the right and then a diving header, eventually allowing Himachal Pradesh to find the sixth goal. A picture-perfect cross and an absolutely thunderous header allowing them to peg back the second goal of the day and it is Heyman Stakur the captain of Himachal Pradesh who manages to find the second goal for themselves it's 5-2 at the Koman Lampak main stadium and as things stand we have now witnessed a flurry of seven goals being scored with Manipur currently leading the game however Himachal Pradesh trying to reduce the areas as much as they can. A gem of a delivery from the right and eventually a flying header coming from the skipper of Himachal Pradesh. Manipur back in the hunt again but Himachal Pradesh will be doing a much better job of somehow keeping the ball away from their own half. They will definitely be tie they'll definitely be eyeing a third goal from here. That probably will make the scorecard look at least a bit more respectable. Also, it'll help down to better their goal difference. At the same time, Manipur will be trying to sneak in a sixth to establish that fourth goal lead once again for themselves. They've definitely been the better sides of the two. They're seen, they have uh, you know put forward a lot more attacks than their counterparts. And somehow, in the last 10 to 12 minutes, they have felt a bit more uh, of their element. They have allowed Himachal Pradesh to come back fighting in the game over and over again. And somehow, it isn't just a battle to witness. Somehow, they have struggled and somehow they have 
lacked the precision that would have helped them to get the more number of goals. Nonetheless, as things stand, it's Manipur who still has a five goal uh, lead right now. So it's a 5-2 margin at the moment. Himachal Pradesh scoring a late goal now as we head towards the end of the regulation time. Another brilliant ball being sent in by Manipur, but the flag was already up, thereby denoting the offside. A free kick now in favor of Himachal Pradesh. They are most likely going to launch it downtown and eventually do. Sends it forward. There is a splitting through between the two players. Ball goes on to that far left, however, that's now gone out of contention. It's going to be a throw in here. Lovely twist and turn through that central channel. And now a back flick allowing Manipur to try and create an opportunity for themselves. Despite the captain going down, the whistle didn't go up from the referee. Eventually the ball once again rolling back in favour of Himachal Pradesh. It's the captain, the man who scored the second goal for Himachal Pradesh. Who was just trying to create another true ball forward. But the ball's right now back at the feet of Manipur. Despite it's gone on to an extreme right wing. He manages to keep the ball alive and again stitch it together from the back. One minute of regulation time remaining. How much more action is there in the heart? Only time shall reveal the same. But Himachal Pradesh can definitely try and get themselves a third. But at the moment they are busy defending the might of Manipur. Himachal Pradesh has relied more on long balls uh, than getting uh, together those short passes, than trying to challenge the midfield authority of Manipur. The question is, can they utilize that more? Another long-range effort coming from the captain, uh, but repelled away by the opposition defense. Well, it's a bit of a ping-pong situation right now. The ball keeps on hitting one player and returns while the other player gets to clear it away. Now, that's a lovely ball sent towards the right. Oh, he did attempt to actually keep it down. Uh, but that wasn't decent enough. Here's a lovely ball sent down to the player at the far left. Four minutes have been added on uh, to the regulation time. So 240 seconds of football still alive ahead of us. Do we have more goals in this fixture? We have seen seven games already. Now only time shall reveal whether we have the eighth coming up. Manipur prancing from the left, speeding their way past, but he was a mile offside already. And the linesman spotted it on time and quickly raised the flag. Marshal Pradesh may also be looking for that third goal for themselves. Scoring three goals in a game is definitely something, uh, somewhat of a uh, statement that you make. And it also helps you with a lot of confidence, a lot of uplift in your panache when you come knocking on the doors for the forthcoming fixtures. And a brilliant cross comes from the right, however. It has rolled up to the feet of another player from Manipur and it starts prancing down that left and right, just trying to stitch together a few balls in the center. It's back with Manipur again, sends a lovely ball forward. Or rather, it was back with Himachal Pradesh who sent a lovely ball forward. Once again, the goalkeeper showcasing his flair for dribbles, fancies his chances and eventually dribbles his way past a chasing uh, Himachal Pradesh attacker. Himachal Pradesh continues to press high. Can they lay claim to the ball? Well, at the moment, it doesn't seem like. The possession remains with Manipur. Back to their skipper. Sends in a lovely ball onto the left. But before the player could have collected it, a crucial dive there from Himachal Pradesh eventually snatched it away from the very jaws of a Manipuri player. Now, it's a bit of a chase here, but it'll be simple for them. The ball remains at the feet of the goalkeeper of Himachal Pradesh. Dude. And it goes out of play. 
once again coming to you the live updates from match six Jharkhand still holding on to their slender lead against Chandigarh and that goal came from the feet of Birsa Toro and here's a substitution happening for Manipur at the moment we have Lashram coming up in place of Kishan Singh Thongjam a man who scored and a man who is also responsible for conceding the first goal Literally. for Manipur Himachal Pradesh stitches another long ball forward and the result is still the same. The Manipur defenders out leaping themselves, putting an end to those opportunities. They keep on twisting and twirling down that right wing, but that won't really do them any good at all. Here's the confirmation, Lashram coming in in place of Kishan Singh. Manipur once again on the prowl from that right wing. That right wing has absolutely produced gold for them. A cross comes in. A diving head, a powerful one in fact. But the goalkeeper keeping the ball away from the goal and putting in a second save in a trice to deny Manipur their six. That was a thumping header but straight at the goalkeeper arms and before Manipur could have unloaded another effort on the goal, uh, the goalkeeper darting out of his line, eventually clearing it away, keeping Himachal Pradesh still very much locked in the maze of 5-2. The goalkeeper probably have conceded five goals, yes, but there wasn't anything that he could have done, at least in case of the goals. Marshal Pradesh somehow, uh, they need to bolster their defences. Their rear guard has been all over the place in this fixture. And Manipur opened it up, cracked it open at will. Another cross comes in from the right, but this time Marshal Pradesh will have their bases covered. Balls back at the feet of Manipur. Sends another lovely ball onto the right, but smashes it straight onto a Himachal Pradesh defender. And that's the final whistle of the game. Manipur walking away with an emphatic victory over Himachal Pradesh as they registered a 5-2 margin for themselves. An emphatic display at the Koman Lampak Main Stadium hoping to go ahead and clinch the ace and eventually doing it in style as they are right now at the top of group 6 in the ongoing Hero 76 NFC Santosh Trophy. We'll try and bring you the official updates or the official confirmation of the scoreline here between these two teams. A goal fest that unfurled ahead of us featuring seven goals here's the confirmation Manipur 5 Himachal Pradesh 2 we have Malingamba with a brace we have Yami Longba with a strike Kishan Singh came with another and Ronald Singh scored in the 74th minute Saurav Kumar opened the scoring for Himachal Pradesh exploiting a howler and Hemant Kumar came in with a diving header to score the second for Himachal Pradesh but that was not enough to parry away the superlative display from Manipur. We'll try and showcase the stats for you all so that that kind of narrates the story of the game as well for you. Here are the stats. Imagine Pradesh with 41% ball possession. Uh, Manipur with 59, 5 shots from Himachal Pradesh, 19 from Manipur, 2 on target from Himachal Pradesh, 11 on target from Manipur, 1 corner from Himachal Pradesh, 6 from Manipur, 3 fouls from Himachal Pradesh, 4 from Manipur, 1 yellow card from Himachal Pradesh and no other cards that were being shown throughout the game. And these stats were brought to you by the official broadcasting partner of Hero 76 NFC Santos Trophy, the Manipur Leg Sports KPI. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all from today. That's another exciting day of footballing fixtures in the ongoing Santos Trophy meeting. A rollicking conclusion. We will return with another day of exciting footballs a day from now. Do not forget to join us and also do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the official YouTube channel of Sports KPI so that you can keep on enjoying the games that we will be bringing forth to you. That's all from today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you for joining in. This is your commentator Rohit signing off on behalf of Sports KPI.